Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in the previous video I showed you how to make the Halloween cupcakes and today what I'm going to show you is how to make a micro truffle biscuit. Here in the bowl for the here in this bowl I've got seventy five grams of dark chocolate along with two one hundred twenty five grams of butter and I've got a saucepan full of simmering water. So I'm gonna let both of these melt until they are until it is smooth enough until it has melted the water is starting to simmer melting the butter and the chocolate what I'm gonna do is take this off the heat and Add add one and a half tablespoons of instant espresso. Once it's cool slightly, then you can stir both the 175 grams of soft dark brown sugar as well as the cassava sugar, the same measurement, 175 grams. Then you're going to put in the beaten eggs. as well as the a table a teaspoon of vanilla extract the next thing i'm gonna do is to sift 40 grams of cocoa powder and to that i'm gonna add in and sift 225 grams of Plain flour I put a teaspoon of salt as well as the final bit I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of baking powder I'm just going to sift that through in a mixing bowl. Now if there is any lumps of cocoa powder, I'll just give it a scrape through with a sieve. What I've done is mixed in this 
dry mixture and then put a well in your middle and then the chocolate mixture will be put in along with the flour mixture Now this, this is a real instruction and I'll tell you to, how to do this recipe as a bake along. Once the chocolate mixture has been put in, then it will be followed by the walnuts, which is 125 grams and it is chopped. So give it a stir until it is made into cookies, biscuits, I should say. This is a mixture of what it looks like when it is mixed. I'm going to show you what to do next. Once it is made, you can put in a teaspoon of this mixture. And place them um, and they tell the parts from each other. Can you see how I made these? How I made the cookies a little apart. You're going to do the same for others. And you're going to make 25 to 30 cookies. Now it, the nine biscuits have been separate. Now you can use them all up until you made 25 to 30 cookies. That, those are the biscuits that I will use up and spaced apart from each other. Now I'm going to bake these mocha biscuits in the oven for 10 minutes. I preheated the oven. I'm just going to put these in until it is soft in the centre and crisp around the edges. Now pause the video for 10 minutes. Now you, I'm going to show you how this turn up after 10 minutes. The 
the mocha biscuits and turns out like it's a normal biscuit. This is a round one when it's baked and done and when it's soft and on the middle and crispy round the middle round the outside and it tastes like chocolate and it has walnut and coffee as a as an ingredient so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and to like and comment what your suggestions on what your ingredients and recipe suggestions are I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Bye.